Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> I'm Lisette, this is Lisette Craft and Tells and today we're doing the second episode of the Diamond Painting Stash Detox. Uh, if you haven't seen last week Detox, go back. I'll put it up in the eye so you know what this, this is about. Well, <laughs> it's not that difficult to see. I've got quite a stash and I want to stop buying them. So last week I told you that I was going to write down my entire stash in my journal and I hope you guys watched my whips and finishes that I put up this weekend and I hope you enjoyed it. So guys now I know my stash, my whips and my finishes I've also made a video about my diamond painting accessories that will be up next weekend. So we have all the things in place. I've sh I have shown you all. But guys, today, <clears throat> step two. So the first one was take inventory. Step two. I must be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm dreading this uh, a little bit. <laughs> And I have written it down. I know everything, but still. Okay. Uh, when my channel was a half year old, I did how much did I spend on diamond painting in my first five and a half months or something. And I'll put it in the eye so you can watch that video first if you like. Uh, <laughs> and since then, I have <clears throat> some numbers for you. So guys, I think it's important for me to know how much I have spent on my hobby. And guys, please don't take this too seriously. I know it's a diamond painting addiction, but it... Well, guys. Okay, and if you can afford it, because guys, I have never spent money that I didn't have. So I had it to spend. It's just that I want to stop buying because I can go on indefinitely because there are so many beautiful diamond paintings out there. Okay guys, <clears throat> let me give you some numbers. Okay, in that video of half a year I said that I had spent on diamond paintings alone 1291 euros and 79 cents and that I had spent 215 euros on gadgets and that's a lot but that was just because I was starting out. So I had spent 1500 euros in six months. I'll put all, as you probably have seen already, I put all the numbers in dollars uh, down there because I'm in France, I speak in euros. I also stated in that video that I wanted to try and keep below 2500 euros in a year. <laughs> that didn't happen. No, it didn't. <clears throat> because at the moment of that video I stated that I owned 23 diamond paintings. And now, after one year of diamond painting, I own 62 diamond paintings. Those are the finished ones, the current whips and the stash behind me. So in total that's everything that I have. No more hidden diamond paintings. What's even included in this one is one that I have on the way. It's a project that I have already ordered in August, so quite some time ago. That one is in this as well. Okay. I really don't want to do this. Guys, you, you, I hope you'll do this privately <laughs> if you want to stash detox with me. But I'm doing it in public, so that's a little confrontational. But I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so the stash that I have shown you uh, in my stash video, so where I showed all these, the stash shown in the video, the 
all together that is worth 2210 euros and 34 cents i even do 34 cents so okay the whips and the finishes so that was the other video those combined were 619 euros and 28 cents then i have the project on the way so that's not included in this one that's 99 euros and then all the gadgets that i own the pen the wax 484 euros and 25 cents <sighs> okay if you add all those numbers the grand total so of everything that i own diamond painting wise three thousand three hundred and thirty euros and eighty seven cents yeah yeah oops big oops but I own it, this is what it is, there's nothing more, there's nothing left, this is everything that I've spent. I've spent 800 euros more than I had anticipated and even that 2500 euros was a lot. This has got to stop. Okay, guys, I did it. <laughs> I hope you'll be gentle with me. I hope you appreciated me sharing what I have spent. Um, I hope it makes you feel good because you're like, oh, at least I'm not as Lisette. Maybe you spent way more and you're totally fine with it. Well, good for you. <laughs> this is just about my journey and um, maybe if you want to try this as well well go do the numbers write them down be honest because otherwise it doesn't work and own it i have spent this i am really happy with my collection uh, i love this hobby i'm 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 grateful for it. I'm, I'm super grateful that I'm able to afford it. Uh, and please uh, know that I, um, it's not to brag or anything. Absolutely not. Um, uh, everyone uh, should do whatever they want with their money. And well, some people spend it on, on shoes or clothes. Uh, I spend it on diamond paintings. Um, but just like with your clothes or your shoes, sometimes it's good to ch check in, even if it's really confrontational. So this really wasn't my favorite uh, video to make. Um, I'm a bit embarrassed, ashamed. Uh, I feel like um, spoiled that I would spend so many uh, money on a hobby because really it doesn't make sense. And I must be totally honest, <laughs> I really struggle not buying more. Why? 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 There are so many beautiful diamond paintings out there, but I have so many already. So, <laughs> um, this is um, what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to enjoy what I have and, well, okay. Just to keep it light, 
Uh, you've seen my finishes. I have 11 finishes in a year. Um, I have 46 in my stash. So, well, probably I can work on them for about five years. So I've got five years worth of stash at least. So when you divide it by that, it's acceptable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's enough for this episode, so step two, do the math, calculate what you've spent, own it, and let's go from here. So next week, we're taking the journal again, put the numbers down in your journal guys. And you can even do them in a tiny envelope and close the envelope if you don't want anyone to see. Don't. You don't need to tell anybody. If you want, you can tell me. If you want me to hold you accountable, send me an email. You don't have to, need to leave it in the comment. Um, I hope you appreciated me being so honest. Uh, guys, this really is <laughs> isn't fun to do. <laughs> And that should tell you something, if, just for me, that really tells me something, if I have this kind of reaction. <laughs> um, next week we're going to do, <laughs> next week is going to be more fun, sorry. Uh, it's going to be about uh, the goals, um, loopholes, I'm really good at loopholes, so loopholes and a reward system because I need a reward system for what I'm about to do. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you want to follow along on my stash detox, consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye.